am I actually going to declutter some Natasha Denona eyeshadows? Because I don't use them. I really, really don't, and I need to be real. I put them in the maybe pile thinking nothing was gonna happen to them, and I'm in such a sassy mood. I, things could happen. <gasps> No, I did not just make a mess. This may be the most eyeshadow I have decluttered ever. Good morning, besties. We have some work to do. This is gonna be part two of this massive epic declutter. If you missed my part one, please go check it out because this is probably the most cutthroat I have ever been in a declutter. I am trying my best to remove all emotion and just go straight into the nitty gritty. And that's exactly what we're gonna do with eyeshadow palettes. And I have two massive ones. And if I have time, I'm also gonna do face palettes as well because I know those are intermingled as well. So without hesitation, we're jumping in right now. I'm gonna move the camera and everything. Let's go. This is gonna be a two drawer situation. The top drawer though is definitely the one that needs the most love. Okay, do I know where to begin? Not really, but are we gonna figure it out? Yes, because it's just such a mess. We've got little stragglers on top that I always try to remember, but as you could tell, they would get lost in this abyss. I used some things today, so it's just kind of like whatever I've been using gets put on top, so I can't see everything. And I really need to not be emotional, so what I've done today is I've also made sure I have somewhere to be in like an hour and a half, so I cannot sit here and dilly-dally with all of this. I just cannot. Okay, so I think there's like an obvious way to go about some of this where it's like anything that I know is absolutely not on the chopping block, I'm gonna be pulling aside. So I'm probably gonna do this in stacks of definitely keeping a maybe pile and a purge pile and then we're gonna go through it because more than likely some of those maybes and maybe even some of the absolutes could go into a declutter once I see where everything kind of lands. Does that make sense? Definitely keeping my Dominique Cosmetics transition palette. She's staying. Just bought this palette because it's where I can put all of my individuals. I love the mermaid vibes, obviously staying. This is gonna be a maybe for me. It's a little Lottie palette. I'm worried I'm gonna forget about her. I've recently started using some old favorite ColourPops that the formula is still stunning and I wish for ColourPop still did this formula, honestly. Um, okay, this is gonna be in the keep pile. Just got her not that long ago. This is the Wander Beauty palette. Dominique Cosmetics. Oh yeah, definitely keeping this one. I even just got this one not long ago. This is the Ace Beauté palette, been using her. Oh, this is probably one of my top five, maybe top three palettes. I should do a ranking of my palettes. Definitely keeping the Glam palette. Oh, for Signature palette. Okay, yes, we like her. On, on this little Ofer kick here. I ended up liking this palette so much more than I thought I would. Uh, I did not think I would like this as much, but I really did like this. Okay, this Natasha mini is one of my favorites, or it's one of her like one-off palettes. Oops, but the things pop out. It's like, come on. Oh no, making a mess. This is something I got, I think from a bag. I don't think this was bad, but kind of forgot all about you. Ooh, is there anything there? Hmm, I'm not seeing much. This is like the layer three. I'm like, is it because my nails are so long? Well, the swatching on the finger looks pretty. Definitely a very cushy product. Got my thumb really far in there. Mm, very subtle. This will go in the maybe pile. This is the new palette that I just got, the Shades by San Life of the Party palette. I ended up liking this, but again, minis are so hard. I ended up liking mostly this shade and maybe one of these others. A little mini, put this in the maybe pile. The REM Beauty. What is it about a mini pan or like a thin pan that I just hate? I don't like that. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because the shadows are good. And there's not always gonna be logic to reason that I declutter things sometimes. Sometimes there's absolutely great reason. So if I end up decluttering or putting something in a maybe pile that you love, please do not get mad at me. Why is this in here? Oh, this is the AOA Studio Waterproof Eye Seal that I've never even used, but I want to. I've just never used it. Could be good for the summer though. Alrighty, what is this? Okay, so this is the Pudier Sky Eyeshadow. I actually liked this. This is one of the few things that I really liked from the Clever Beauty box. Look at that, holy buckets. 
the swatching in here becomes insane when I do these types of videos. Really pretty. I'm gonna put this in the keep pile, but it could be on the bubble potentially. I have a feeling a makeup rag is gonna be needed for this video. All right, so I loved this. This is the rare, I'm just stuck on this. Look how pretty that is. I hope it's picking up on camera the way it is in person because dang. See, this is the kind of thing you want from a creamy product that's like a one-off, not this. This looks like a bruise with sparkles in it. This, beautiful. Now back to this. This is the Rare Beauty palette that I liked. This is a bunch of shimmers. I call this an assist palette. This is not something I personally would get a full eye look from, but it's nice to assist into it. However, I haven't touched this in so stinking long that I don't know if it's gonna be worth keeping. So I've been on the bubble about this for a while. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. So far, nothing's been decluttered. I gotta, I gotta get more serious here. Ooh, I just saw something back here that I can put in a declutter. I honestly didn't even try this, so I'm gonna try to give this to a friend. This came in a Ipsy bag the same month that I got something from BoxyCharm and what used to be called the Icon Box. Oh no, it is the Icon Box, the Icon Box for eyeshadows. This is very similar to a lot of the colors that I have in my collection, so I'm gonna see if somebody else would love this. Declutter, there's the first one, first one. All right, ooh, this is old. This is the eyeshadow primer from Alamar. This has only a 12 month lifespan and I've probably had it for like two, so I'm gonna declutter this. In fact, expired things are gonna go straight in the garbage. All right, these are all Natasha. I'm gonna take out the obvious ones that I'm keeping and actually consider decluttering some of these because this one I just bought not that long ago. This is one of her official minis. This is the mini bronze palette, really like her. That's a keeper. I actually like this one a lot. This is the Fez palette. I know some people were maybe not in love with this color story, but I liked it. Uh, some of the older palettes that I've had for a little bit, some of these I really do not ever use, and I need to be honest about that. And this is the time that I should really make some decisions on, am I actually going to declutter some Natasha Denona eyeshadows? Because I don't use them. I really, really don't, and I need to be real. I feel like I'm getting more bold with color. So as first, I was thinking maybe I'd get rid of this, but uh, I'm gonna swatch. And it wouldn't be because of this shade, because you guys know I love this shade, even though it came broken. Oh look, it's the color story of my bracelets and my watercolor tattoo. No one is shocked here. Gosh, that's beautiful. I wanna see this. Hmm. It's actually pretty good for that color. Ooh, she pretty. Okay, you're staying. That's all that took. I'm gonna put this to, I need to like organize these to like use the ones that I don't ever see. All right, let's see. I feel like I never used this one. Let me look at her. The swatching can become the death of me when it comes to decluttering, especially good formulas, man. I have decluttered Natasha Denona in the past though, so it's not like I've never done it. I feel like these browns are all very similar. These two are very similar. Those greens can definitely pack a punch. The browns are a little similar like these two. This one's warmer. Hmm, I'll put this one in the maybe pile. I actually ended up liking the Cupid palette more than I thought I would, so I'll keep her, eh, you know what? I haven't used this in a long time. I'm gonna look like a zebra taking Cooper into the vet today, cause that's where I am going. Oh, look at that one. Cause Cooper is getting his checkup for his cough. Man, look at that. Something you gotta say about Natasha is her shades are good. Her formulas are amazing. Keep. I really don't use this one. What is this? This is the Coral Palette. I bought this back when BoxyCharm had their pop-ups because I hadn't used corals in a long time and I thought this would get me to use them, but it honestly did not get me to use them. Oh, that's pretty. But I was just, you know, these past few years have been a flat out natural girl time. Wow, these are good. <laughs> and I'm just now starting to play with colors again. Dang it. Why you gotta be so good, Natasha? Maybe pile, this is in the maybe pile. I look like juicy fruit again. I have a tendency to do that in these videos. When I first got this palette, I used her quite a bit. This stunned everybody that this was blue. People were like, how does this color story even work together? But I liked it. But I'm a bit of an odd duck, I suppose. Hmm, I'm gonna put this one in the maybe pile. 
So for the record, I have three Natashas in the maybe pile. That's growth a little bit here. I'm just gonna give myself some credit since I feel like I'm not doing so great so far and I have to declutter and reorganize. But so far, dang it, Natasha, why you gotta be so darn good? Wow. Okay, I'm looking at this. This Alter Ego Sakura palette is pretty, but I did not get a, a look out of this that I was really hoping for. These took a lot of time to build up. I think I have better in my collection. I know these palettes are actually considered dupe for Natasha Denona, but as we can see, I have quite a bit of Natasha, so I am gonna pass this one on to a friend. This one's practically brand new. I've only used it like once or twice. So this one is going in declutter. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this beauty crop in the declutter. I've had this one for quite some time. I never really fell in love with this warmer, like fiery shade. This more matte shade was definitely my jam, but I feel like I don't reach for it as much as I thought I would, so definitely time to declutter her. And I think she's probably, yeah, expired. Oof, what do I wanna do about you? See, this is what I wanted this to be, and it is not. Okay, that just so signified that this is getting decluttered now. I'm just gonna put that in the declutter pile. Let's try this. How does this look? Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh ho, 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 ho. I need to put some of these front and center. How do I put these smaller, thin ones that are more like this component? I need to maybe consider putting some in their own little caddy, maybe? I gotta figure this out. I like this. Like this is supposed to be my area for the mini, so I see them better, but as you saw, it was chaos and foolishness. So we couldn't see anything. I got this last summer. This is the El Maquillage palette, and I actually really liked this one a lot. Beautiful bougie component too, great for travel. Hanging on to her. Um, I don't need this, do I? This is a wet and wild white color like individual because I love the wet and wild shadows. Their individuals are actually for some reason better than some other ones. Dang, I have some white on my lids today that I used from a different palette that I'm gonna get to, a huge one. And this one isn't quite as opaque as that, but dang, she brightens. I just need to be able to see these little ones. Where can I put, I'm gonna put the little ones that I wanna keep in their own pile and see what I can do see about making them more visual. That may even include getting rid of some little ones that maybe I'm not as in love with. This is a Farrah palette that is nice, but when's the last time I touched you? I always go straight for the shimmery ones. Ooh, and see this time swatching helped because this shimmery one, not that great. Not that great. Not in love with that. Declutter. All right, I think it's time to let this one go. I liked this last summer. This is the Shayna B Miami like little mini palette here. We've got a little flamingos in there. She's super cute, liked the color, but you gonna focus. I don't even think my camera's focusing on her, but she's gotta go. What is happening? What is happening? My goodness, this is a mess. All right, all right, all right. What do we got here? What do we got here? Keeping my Stila that I love. I love this one. This is the uh, Smoldering Satin. She is right here, going to be keeping her. She's beautiful, putting her with the other minis. This is the white one that I bought last year when I got obsessed with some white looks, some white creamy looks. She works great, hanging on to her. Getting rid of this magical girl. I got this, I think, in a subscription box. I don't ever use it and I have better quality, so we're gonna get rid of this one. This is the Alter Ego Eyeshadow Base that I've never used, but I just got rid of a primer, so I'm gonna hang on to this one. Going to get rid of this Lucky Chick Gold Mine. This formula is really nice from Lucky Chick. I just don't use this color, so I'm gonna pass this one along. Clutter. And this Stila, uh, this is a KVD stick that, oh my gosh, so delicious. I think of this stick before I think of anything else because it goes gorgeous on top of like other colors. I'll just do it on top of this color. It is beautiful. Going to hang on to this one. I hope my camera is focusing. I cannot tell. I'm so sorry if it's not. Please forgive me on these small ones. 
All right, this is gonna suck a little bit here because Sigma shadows are great. However, this Ivy eyeshadow palette, I feel like I have all of these colors in so many other palettes that I don't ever think of this one, but this one is so good. I am gonna pass this on to a girlfriend. The Huda Mauve Obsessions. I used to have like three or four of these Obsessions palettes, and I think this is still a really good palette, but when's the last time I used her? Man, this is what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, like, oh yeah, I love this. I'm like, yeah, but when's the last time you used it? Let's, let's get honest with ourselves. Used to be a go-to travel palette for me. You know what? She's not swatching well. It's time to let go of the things we used to love and use regularly. Cause I'm not, I'm not using them regularly anymore. So thank you Huda for all you've done. Time to declutter. I just started pulling out the Mar ColourPop palette again for some recent looks and I still love this palette. So she stays. The Star Wars palette. I do think this palette is cute but I can't keep something because it's cute, but I have been reaching for a ton more greens, honestly, lately. So I am gonna hang on to this one. And I think this may have been limited edition. Do they still sell this? I really can't remember, but that's not a reason to keep things. I need to remember that. The Wet n Wild Always Naked. Ooh, I think I may be putting this in the maybe pile and it's not because it's not good. It's just because I have so many I think what I'll need to do is compare this to some other of like my all nude palettes and decide if this is worth keeping. I went on a hunt for this though. I really, really wanted this palette. Just sitting here going, how good is she? She was good, but I'm like, I haven't been using it. So how good is it? Oh my gosh, I can't even find a single spot to swatch that I can see, that I can show you. Oh dang, that was good. Oh, that was good too. Maybe pile, putting it in the maybe pile. As you can see, I have so many nudes and this isn't gonna go anywhere. This is a given that I love this palette. I reach for this a lot as my base for nudes that are matte. So again, I don't know what I need and what I don't need. That's why I need to see it all out here. This is gonna get wild, you guys. I'm not, I may not have allotted enough time for all of this. Okay, I don't use this. So I'm just gonna not even swatch it and gift it away. This is from ColourPop. Um, off Melrose. It's not that it's a bad palette. It's just, I have all the same color stories now over and over. I'm starting to repeat myself and I don't even think to use this palette. So I'm going to declutter it. Oh, High Tide I just used recently too. And Nude Mood. I love traveling with this and I do reach for this. So hanging on to these two. Man, just when I think I don't use a lot of ColourPop anymore, I'm just like, oh wait, I do. So this Dominique, okay, this is going to be hard. This is a really pretty palette. Ask me the last time I used it. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to think of how long ago I got this palette. I knew it was like Christmas time, but I don't even think it was Christmas time this past year. I think it was the one before that. I think I need to, oh, this one's going to suck. Oh, this is going to suck. I'm going to put this in declutter and see how I feel about it as I go on, because this could be gifted to someone who would really, really love it. And I don't ever reach for it, even though I love the formula, love the quality. I have multiple of her palettes. I'm feeling guilty. Can you tell? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it and put it in the declutter. I don't use it. Okay. So dang it. These two I've had in my collection for freaking ever, but I still love them, but I kind of love this one more and they don't sell these anymore. This is the Essence Be Beautiful palette. This one is more cool toned with some shimmers in it. I use this one quite a bit. This one, I feel like I used as an assist palette for this one, but I don't use this one as much anymore. So I'm gonna look into putting this in the declutter and this in the keep and see how I feel as I show you my piles here in a little bit. Okay. Oh, I, almost said, I was about to say this is empty, but then this is the Fenty. Ooh, man, I loved this. Loved, love, loved this. But I feel like now I have some of these shades and I don't need this anymore. Gosh, isn't it fascinating how it's like at one point, like my trigger reaction was to be like, oh, I'm keeping this because these, like this T, this T right here, upside down T. I loved these four shades, but then I'm like, well, when's the last time I reached for it? Because I have some other mustardy yellows and some other browns. What, do I need this? And I haven't, oh, yeah, I don't think I do. Wow, this is, this is how you know things change. You need to do the turnovers in your collections. Declutter for being brutal. All right. Um, boom, 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 boom. I went through these pretty cutthroat before. Okay, now this one is totally expired, but I still love it and use it. And I'm mad that they don't make more of these. This is the, this is just my soapbox moment. This is the Amanda Steele and ColourPop. I'll be honest. I don't even know who Amanda Steele is. I got this back when my St. Louis days. 
I forgot my camera overheats when I shoot like this for some reason. Uh, back to what I was trying to say is I don't know who Amanda Steele is. I just lost a piece of this eyeshadow, but it is a very like pearl essence shimmery shadow that I love so, so much. And for some reason, ColourPop has never come out with another one that is very pearlescent. It's not shimmery. It's more pearlescent. It looks gorgeous on the lids. I'm running out of places to swatch. So I will never get rid of this until it's completely gone. And as you can see, it is really, really panned. It's beautiful. Um, let's see here. Doo, doo, doo. I can kind of see these here. Doo, doo, doo. Okay. Um, I'm just kind of doing a quick once through. Oh, this is a highlighter. Who's an OG stand for Wisp from ColourPop? Who, who, who? We all know that this shade is like the OG. Okay, so she actually belongs up here. Uh, I got that white shade because I became obsessed last year. This is a beautiful shade from Ace Beauté. Ace Beauté came out with their own formula and it is stunning. I don't think they've really like done much else within a little bit that they did a couple years ago. I don't think they kept doing it, but it is so pretty. All right, Ladybird was what I was trying to get to like maybe be a dupe or a substitution for the Amanda Steele ColourPop um, Going Rogue shade that they don't make anymore. Um, but it is not. It is all shimmery. I don't ever really use this. Let's see. It's just kind of like a topper and I don't really need toppers. So I am going to go ahead and put this in the declutter because I don't, I don't use it. It's really pretty though and really works. So I'm going to give it to a friend. Um, pretty, 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 pretty princess. Okay. We'll put the oranges back together. I don't have a lot anymore as you can see and that is okay with me because I don't need a bunch. I don't tend to reach for these too often as much as I do the pellets. So okay, we're keeping those. Back here. Back here are the girls. All right, let's start with Midsummer from Alter Ego. Again, this is a dupe brand for a lot of the Natasha Denona color stories and some of their formulas to a degree. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I used this like once. Oh my golly. Oh my golly. Oh. I'm just having to find random splotches to like swatch on myself. I don't think I really got to use this one too much yet. So I want to hang on to her, but I want to, I want to reorganize. I want to see what I have. I need to declutter. I need to declutter. I'm just telling myself that as I'm like, man, I love everything. I can't love everything, but I do. All right, all right, this is gonna suck. No one's gonna predict this that has ever seen this because this has been in a top like favorites of mine, but I think I just need to get the identity too from Persona because I do not reach for any of these. I mostly reach for these two nudes and I have so many nudes in my collection now, I don't need this. And I can think of about seven of you off the top of my head that said get the Persona identity one because that's gonna be more my jam. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that and declutter this. Ooh, we gotta keep moving fast so we don't think about it. Keep moving, keep moving along. Coastal, Alter Egos Coastal Palette. Don't really love this one. I love some of the other ones, so I'm gonna declutter this. Anything that's more of a pastel or like a pale shade does not look good on my neutral skin tone or doesn't, you know, come through. Keep moving, keep moving. Don't think about it, don't think about it. All right, ColourPop, Hocus Pocus, Pitch. You know she's staying, let's not even pretend. All right, um, Misunderstood. This is also a limited edition. I don't think they sell this anymore. Great palette for assist colors, as we can see. She stays. Ooh, okay. The Zendo palette from our girl, Natasha. I like. Sunrise palette, Natasha. Hmm. This is the one that I got for my very first Natasha palette ever, fell in love. And this is the one that's known to not be her bestest, bestest, bestest formula. Should I put this in the maybe pile? I'll put this in the maybe pile, but I'm keeping the Zendo. I feel weird. I feel weird. I'm feeling feelings. This is the Zahara palette. This is from Alter Ego. This is the one that is the dupe for the Biba palette. I do want the Biba palette, but that one is like insanely pricey. That one's over $100 and I just can't justify that right now. So loving this great dupe. Love it. 
This is the Ofra collab with my girl, Yari G. We love her. This stays, this stays. All right, you guys. I go through this every freaking time with this palette. And I have to say, this is the Alamar. This is the Volume 1. The only reason this has stayed so long in my collection is the top two up here. Do you see those? So unique, so rare. See, she just needs to sell them in, in individuals. And I've said that for a long time, but I don't even reach for this. I don't reach for it. I need to let it go. I've held on to it for as, I mean, too stinking long. Years and years saying I love those top two shades and I've maybe used them a few times. I'm not gonna lie, that fight that that just put up was monumental. Kudos to Alamar for having such great packaging. But we did it. We got the good essence out of there and into an individual palette. Whew. Saved. It needs to just be done. Your girl needs to grow through this. We're going to grow through it. All right. This is going to surprise some people. Love this palette so much. This is the Wander Beauty palette. I don't reach for it anymore because my favorite shade is pretty much gone to the rim and I've been using other things since I've been thinking about it and I can't repurchase this one. So I'm just gonna let it go. We're just gonna let it grow. We're gonna grow through it. And the other reason, hold on, I have to say, the other reason I've held on to this for so long is this is a gorgeous, damn it, I shouldn't have touched it, shade to go on the lids. It's gorgeous for on top of the lids. Very neutral, very great. I need to let it go. Because I don't reach for it. I've got so many other things. But I held on to it for a long time because I was loving it. This is the Laura Geller... Ooh, what is this one called? This one is called the Soft Satin Six Mattes, Two Highlights, and a Partridge in a Pear Tree. I think I can let this go. This is really pretty. Like, this looks really nice. And there's nothing wrong with it. I think I liked it, but with so much, should I put it in the maybe pile or should I just let it go? I'm gonna let it go. I don't reach for it. Let's let it go. Let it go. Let it go. This is the Violet Voss Sun Kiss. I feel like I came up against this a while back because I was like, oh, it's going to be summer and then I'm going to want some of these shades. Um, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. I'm not even going to think. I'm just going to go with it. Go with my gut. Go with my gut. Modern Renaissance, you sweet little muffin keeping you. All right. I also like the subculture. I know this is weird for some people and I know this was the thing that went viral because of how soft the shadows were. Um. I think I used this in the fall when I would intended to, and in the winter. And then, mm, do I want to put you in the maybe? I do use it though. I don't. Uh, uh, I've got a lot in the keep pile, but I've got a decent amount in the declutter pile too. The maybe pile has the least amount of things right now. I'll put it in the maybe, but it, she she's probably gonna stay. But I honestly don't know worth a second. You know, I'm going to be as surprised as you guys are when we get to the end of this. Iconic London Beachside Babe Eyeshadow Palette. I don't need this. We can get rid of it. We can get rid of this. That's fine. Wow, my declutter pile is getting bigger than I thought. Patrick Ta. I need to get the more neutral brown toned one. I've always thought, what is that? Is that another shadow on top? I think that was just another shadow that I had swatched previously when doing this on top. I'll keep my eye on you. You're not that old, Patrick Ta. I want the more brown toned one, the more neutral toned one. This one to me is way more fiery. People always called this neutral when this first came out. I was like, no, no, it's not. This is more of that warm tone. Um, I want more of the neutral tone that just came out, but I'm gonna hang on to her. Beautiful shimmers. All right, I love this palette. I do not care that this is old. This is the chocolate gold palette from Too Faced. If I could get her open, hold on. I broke a nail today, so I'm not about to break my nails again. Love this palette quite a bit. I love this neutral shade. I love these matte shades, but I also love all of these shimmer shades. And I use them for colorful looks, for neutral looks. I, I know this is old. I know it's not like, you know, buzz worthy because it's not new, but I like it. I keep her. I keep the things I use. All right. Anastasia, I like this newer palette that I just got recently, probably within this past six months or so. This is the Primrose palette. I like her. I like her more than I thought I would. I don't really care for the saddle shade being a face shade. I use it more for eyes, but I like this one. I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of the Zoeva Caramel Melage because I haven't touched this in a long time, but I have hit pan on her. So I'm appreciative of how good she was to me. 
All right, guys, that's that whole drawer. Let's just do a quick wipe out here. And then, my friends, we're not done. Nay, nay. We gotta, oh. Okay, there's not as much down here, but this is where it gets hard to organize. So these are obviously some sponges because your girl's out of places to sponge. Oh, you, my God, you know what else I think is down here? Well, we got some dupes because Smashbox sent me two of these. Um, but also we've got stuff down here that I think I wanted to declutter a while ago and forgot to tell you about. Can you guys believe it? This red lipstick looks so vibrant. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm just going to give it to a girlfriend that I know that this color would look beautiful on her. Not my jam. We haven't done lips yet, but it's in this drawer. So I'm telling you about it. This is the shade Always On from Smashbox and she looks so pretty, but I just know it won't work for me. I think they also sent a mascara that I've not gotten to try yet. So actually, because I hadn't done my declutter yet, I had nowhere to put anything. So I'm just going to put that one back. All right. Um, this is in here and I'm so tempted to just say this is it. This is the time to, de to get declutter something that I've loved for years and years. This is the Tarte. This is the Clay Play palette from Tarte. I honestly have not touched this and I'm trying to sit here and think if I've traveled with it and if I have, it's not been something that was like I needed anymore. It's not like my security blanket for travel of like this has everything. It's really not. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. All right, I used these this morning. <laughs> uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina, like what, I don't even know, two, three, this is three. This one is one. I used them this morning for this I look like them, Jaclyn Hill OG palette. This is the original original, not the reformulated original. Hanging on to these. All right, okay, this is gonna be a little uh, stressful. Get some things out of the way. Some things down here are kind of out of sight, out of mind situation. All right, this is the Ciate London I Am Woman. What's your superpower? I love this for a super long time, but I've not reached for her in a really hot minute, like a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. I think there's no need to like pretend the Tati palette is staying. She, you know, does not exist anymore, but she is really good. Even if I haven't used this in a while, I'm honest, I'm not getting rid of this, even though I'm like just said earlier, you can even rewind the tape, be like, oh, even if we, you know, even if it's limited edition, doesn't mean it's reason to keep it. I can't find formulas anything like this. So even if this is off my radar because I'm trying other things, I always go back to it. It's it's that good a quality. It's so good. I haven't used these in a long time. Starting that off right up front in case I try to back out, which I'm not gonna. We're, we're, we're doing business today. These are the Tardist palettes. I love the Amazonian clay palettes. Really, really do. And honestly, I haven't touched these in such a long time because of everything else that I have. I think it's time. I don't even know if I need, I never thought this day would come maybe, but it's, I, I need to be nonchalant about it, which is why I'm trying to not make this maybe YouTube sensationalized right now. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm torn, I'm torn. I need to just be real that I don't touch them anymore. And that's okay. It's okay. I have other things. That's the point of evolving and growing and getting other things in the collection that are, are great. So I'm going to put these in the declutter and just not think about it. Okay, so now let's assess what's in the pile. This declutter pile is pretty deep in here. It's not obviously as big as what I'm keeping, but it is a much bigger majority than the maybe pile and some of that could still be moving over. I'm just kind of like in one of those zones where it's like, let's just get it done. All right, let's do a quick count here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 things, mostly eyeshadow palettes, like 99.9% .9 are eyeshadow palettes, um, are getting decluttered. Now let's go over to the maybe pile and see if we can shift anything over here to see what are we feeling because this is, it's a good feeling and I'm just kind of like, what else can I get rid of quite honestly? Because I want things to fit well and I don't want things to just fit, I want there to be room to grow. Like I'm trying to be really real with myself too and decide what am I actually using versus what am I just storing onto because I'm sentimental with memories and when I used to love things. When when can I just let some things go? I'm not too sure. And some things I'm going to be able to look at compared to my keep pile and see what's what's too similar that I could get rid of. 
There is more Natasha Denona in this maybe declutter pile than I expected. I'm gonna open up everything so I can see it in this maybe pile. Is it sparking joy or is it time to go? Do I use you? Do I want to use you? These I can see and they are a fallout hazard. I'm also going to be honest, I have to leave in like 15 minutes and I'm kind of in one of those zones where I kind of, I'm just like getting in a mood of like, let's just get rid of the stuff. I'm not going to, I don't want to be wishy-washy. All right. Going to get rid of these two little minis. They're great, but I can give them to somebody else. I don't need them. All right. I'm also going to get rid of the rare beauty confidence energy. It's not that it's not good. If you love it, I totally understand why I've not decluttered it through many things because it is good. It's just not something I am gravitating to. I'm also going to say it's time. It's time for something I didn't think was gonna happen, but I'm sitting here looking at my arm swatches as well. I don't need a lot of the repeating same things. I'm gonna compare. Is this the same as any of this? I'm comparing colors on the back of my Natasha Denona's that I know I'm keeping just to see because some of them are similar and I don't need a ton of the same darn thing. And these do pop out. I can already hear you guys saying, Nicole, you just saw earlier, they pop out if you want to. I know, and I do have a palette now that I can keep um, some of the individuals. That is a great idea. Thank you for saying that. Why didn't I think of that sooner? This is why you're here to help me. Y'all, let's just do that. Let's pop out the things that I wanna keep and put them in here. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. I feel like we're not even there. She's hearing voices. It's fine. You know what's gonna oh. No, I did not just make a mess all over my rug. No! Okay, well that one's going. I was trying to get this out because of course the ones you want to pop out don't. All right, y'all. Hold on. I had to stop filming, take Cooper to the vet because this was gonna take way too long. That just gives you an idea of how long these declutters take. And I washed off my arms so my swatches are gone, but I am kind of going through here a little bit more cut throat, even more so because honestly, can I just be real with you? I'm kind of just having one of those days where nothing is going right. Everything is putting me in a rough mood. I'm just kind of getting into a bad mood. And that is so just like not the vibe I like to be in ever, but especially when I'm talking to my friends. So what I'm going to be doing now, it's probably going to be even a little bit more just like savage because I just need to get some of this energy out. I really just want my beauty space to be just a inviting, beautiful, fun place to be. And right now it just feels so chaotic. And there's just been a lot of other things outside of this that have just been just like Meh! on me all day. So we're just going to take it all out on the declutter and we're going to get really cutthroat. And I'm going to show you what I just did. When it comes to these Natasha Denona palettes, I, you saw the mayhem and foolishness. I popped out the two browns that I was really loving. I swatched the green. The green is giving nothing. The green is giving like vacant. There's nothing here. She's a ghost. She's a whisper. The browns here I really liked. So I went ahead and put them into my little palette here and I'm so happy they're here. And then I started to swatch these two palettes that I've loved in the past and used. And honestly, I was unimpressed, uninspired. And again, just kind of in a funky mood where I'm like, why am I holding on to stuff? Cause I was starting to swatch things. I'm like, okay, this blue isn't even showing up. I'm not, I'm not impressed with some of these colors. I don't have everything swatched, mind you, but I was just doing the things that I thought could keep me. That blue, not impressive. I look at this palette, kind of swatched a little bit. And I'm like, I have so many of these shades. I don't need this. And as much as I love Natasha, these are harder to remember to use because that whole area is just a mess. So I'm going to gift these two away to a friend who I think would love the formula, love a little funk in her life. And I'll see if she wants these broken ones. This broken one, man. Ah, when they came broken from BoxyCharm so many times, it just becomes so difficult. But I'm gonna declutter these. So now we are back to the maybes pile. And quite honestly, like I said, I'm in the mood to purge. I need to find my peace again in my beauty space. And having an excessive amount just isn't cutting it. 
I am going to go ahead and declutter the Clay Play palette. As much as I loved this palette on a daily basis for such a long time, that was years ago, traveled with it a while back, but I'm not using it and it's, it's not important to hang on to. It's just not. So let's move on and take a look at other things we have here. Again, that is the keep pile that's bigger than probably is in the frame right now. I'm gonna get rid of the Watt and Wild palette. I, maybe I'll do a quick swatch of Ruski to compare to other things, but I don't think I need this. I hunted for this for so long because I wanted to try it. And I think that's why I'm just kind of like holding on to it. And those are great pulls. Like, look at that. Those are great. And if you are a babe on a budget and love your drugstore, yes, girl. I just sat here doing some more swatching and she's nice, but I've got better. So do I recommend it if you are a babe on a budget looking for a whole bunch of nudes? Absolutely. Do I need it in my very large collection? No, because I'm trying to get it down to a medium to small size collection. So we're gonna pass this one on as well. And I'm okay with that. Don't even need to do a swatch off, but let's touch these. These are nice. I just hate the component. I hate the pans and that's such a silly thing. But as I just said, I'm in a mood. Ooh. What was that supposed to be? Man, that one just, you don't even see her. Where is she? But it's probably because of my skin tone. Everything else is showing up nicely. She is nice. So maybe I'll hang on to her for some travel and some day-to-day -day looks. I put them in the maybe pile thinking nothing was gonna happen to them. And I'm in such a sassy mood. I, things could happen. I'm just saying, things could happen. All right. Let's go here. My very, very first Natasha Denona palette that was sent to me by one of you guys. And that's the true reason that this is gonna be even harder for me, no matter what I decide, because it came from one of you at a time in my life that it was the hardest I had ever been through. Right after my hysterectomy, discovering I had endometriosis and stage four version, it's just knowing you guys cared and just loved so much that when you just wanted me to feel better, this will always have a special, special place in my heart. And she is Natasha. So even not great Natasha is still <laughs> so much better than some other things. I don't even know what you can see versus what you cannot see. Ooh, ooh, oh. So we're starting off with a bang. All right, look at that, look at that. I feel like I held on to this palette too because she was the big grown up version of my ColourPop palette that I did end up decluttering. Gosh, which one was that? I think it was the Yes Please palette. This is like the grown up version. All right, she stays. These swatches convinced me. Anastasia has soft shadows that are pretty pigmented. This palette got a lot of sass online because of how soft the, look how good that just swatched. Dang, dang, dang. Because how soft the shadows are. Wow. You could reach pan real quickly if you just kept going and going in your brush, but you don't need that much if you're putting it on your eye. But you know, YouTube loves a sensational moment. YouTube is for entertainment, but also we're here to spit the facts and this is still a really good palette. Look at that. Look at this whole arm. Let's put her in the keep pile for now. I'm going to vacuum up all of this extra mess that I just made. Uh, maybe clean off some juicy fruit. Hard to say, hard to say. And then we're gonna see how these remaining products fit back into the beauty drawers and the final count with how many things we have decluttered because this is quite a lot and it's not even including the face palettes that may also have some eyeshadows in them. So declutter the keep pile. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is be able to see what I can fit back into my small palettes section because that just got overwhelming and just became, I couldn't see anything. So let's see what we currently have for the smaller palettes and see how we fit them into here and if it's gonna work. So ColourPop we know is gonna stay in its own little caddy, so I'm not too worried about these. Set these over here while we figure this out. Hmm. 
Curious if I can fit. Oh, these do fit. Okay, okay, okay. This could be a game changer. Hold on. Oh, is this one too big? Different size palettes. Why do they do this to us? Okay. So we have, I think these are all the mini palettes. I have to look and double check. But I was able to put some of these little guys into where the color pops are. So they're the single shadows. And it's not like so tight either that I can't add something else or see like thumb through it. Okay, okay. trying to put things with similar categories like we have all of my bigger Natasha Denona palettes and my alter ego palette those are all like my Natasha and my Natasha dupe and those all fit in there pretty nicely tucked in the back those go pretty well it's so hard because no palettes are like the same size these are longer palettes Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even have enough to fill back here with the regular size palettes anymore. Can you see that? There's like room for activities. You know what I think we might do then? Let's get the smaller guys up here. Now normally, this would go here so I could see everything. Does Tati fit in here? Like I know my transitions palette fits in here. So let's just take a look, see. What about my Tati? Because, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Does that fit now? <gasps> because we have room to lean. We have room. I'm just sitting here completely shocked. Completely shocked. Okay. So. We put these muffins right here. What if we move these? Because they're a little bit more large we're still good <gasps> we are still clearing my friends can you see this oh this is exciting for me i i don't know if i can even express my level of excitement right now because i can never use my tati palette i never remember it okay i think that's going to be asking too much to try to fit this in here yeah like it would have to like lean and lean so jacqueline man why'd you put such a big palette in here okay so now we're down here. We're gonna clean her out real quick. And honestly, like at this point, it's just those. It is literally just those. I always wish I could just fit them all. These are the same size drawer. I just wish I could fit them all into the same drawer, honestly. Well, I have other stuff to put back in there too. So it's not like I'm gonna be hurting or anything. You guys, I cannot believe this. We've got three palettes down here now and it's, this is a huge difference from the start of this video. This was a mess. Oh my golly. I'm just staring at it like it's some kind of monument right now because this is still more than anyone could probably use in a lifetime, but I know I'm gonna get more this year and I just need room to grow, but I also need room to see what I love and what I want to experiment with and use and play with. I'm sitting here shocked. All right, now, now what we're gonna do is go through everything I decluttered. Are you ready for this? Cause there's gonna be a fresh count because I actually even have to take out some of the things that I threw out that were expired too. One, two, three. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. This may be the most eyeshadow I have decluttered ever. 36 items. Like, this includes some high-end bougie things. This includes Natasha Denona. This includes Rare Beauty. This includes Tarte. This includes so many amazing things that I've loved and put in favorites for years and years and years. I'm just kind of proud of myself right now and I'm feeling lighter. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Okay, friends, we are at the end of the eyeshadow palettes. And this has been quite a declutter for me, especially since I always do like another sweep throughout the year several times. So I can't promise this will be the last eyeshadow palette declutter you see. However, there is another large collection on my desk. Can you guess what it is? Can someone please tell me why I have two containers for lippies? Truly, can someone tell me? There's a lot here. We're talking glosses, we're talking lipsticks, we're talking, I mean, a little bit of everything. Lip balms, you name it. It is all in here and here. So friends, there's still more to go through. I didn't even talk about the face palettes other than just showing you very briefly where some of them are stashed. So stay tuned. Be subscribed. If you like declutters, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button, sharing this video, commenting below because that helps out my little channel so much. And it lets me know you wanna see more of these because we had a whole beauty room in here. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. We still have to do a beauty room tour with the upgrades that we have done and I have one more thing still coming before I can film that video. I just bought it yesterday and I'm stoked. It's gonna be a huge factor for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.